welcome back i'm so glad that you guys came over today to see another costco haul before we get started and i show you what i got for the month i wanted to let you guys know that i spent about 279 dollars for this whole haul it's mostly fruits and vegetables and um, just a few little splurges here and there uh, not as many as i usually have so i'm trying to be good if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, I know you guys just want to see the groceries, so let's get to the haul. So definitely this haul fills up my table and there are a few splurge items, but I'm mostly trying to do fruits and vegetables. We're trying to go kind of more on the, the low carb side of things um, slowly because we're really changing the way we're eating. So we're trying to incorporate a lot more uh, fruits and vegetables and mostly just like clean eating and uh, less processed so see how we did <laughs> so I kind of tried to section everything off so I'll show you guys what I got we start here with some fruit um, I got some red grapes because these were a little bit cheaper than green grapes I usually get green grapes um, but I want to say these were $6.99 for four pounds which I thought was pretty good the Green grapes are like $8.99. So I legit opened this, had my child taste one, said they were good, we went with them. Look at these apricots. Oh my gosh, you guys. They, like the color on here, look at these apricots. Don't they look so good? Oh my gosh. I know it's not that many. Um, these are about $4.99, but they were so ripe and I just loved apricots as a kid and I haven't had them in a while. so. It just reminds me of summertime and being a little kid eating big bags of apricots that I don't even know. We probably bought them from a farm stand or something. And it was like big grocery bags and we just loved them. Um, got some gala apples. I really just wanted to get some apples for my family and these were like the smallest. Um, my family isn't huge apple eaters. So these were the best thing I can do. Um, they were about $4.99. They were a little more pricey, but I know they're really good quality. I feel like Costco just has the best produce. And I've heard at least that they get first pick, probably because they have bulk. So that's why their produce is so good. Um, with that being said, I got some pears. Oh my gosh, guys, these just looked so good. They were like the first thing I picked up, and I was like, oh, these look so good. I want to say they were kind of on the pricier side, but it was a huge bag of them. Uh, I want to say that's a five pound bag and I want to say they were $6.99. I got this huge thing of blueberries. I mean huge. I did look through a ton of the blueberries to make sure there was no mold or anything on anything like that. Um, there on a few there was so check that out when you guys are looking through. But I really wanted these for um, just smoothies and stuff like that. I usually get some blackberries and they didn't have any so move on to my guys love some baby carrots we should just make some carrot sticks and cut them all up but this was my you know sometimes us mamas have to just do things that are more convenient these both these bags were like five dollars and so i thought that was an amazing deal my guys will love it they'll snack on it my son and my husband will eat in one sitting probably at least half this bag so um, it's definitely a better alternative than like chips. This was actually one of my splurges. It is a South Carolina specialty. It is made here. If they have it at your Costco, guys, just try it. It is amazing. It's pimento cheese spread. And I usually eat it with crackers or something like that. Um, it has a little bit of a bite to it. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. Or if you're looking for a really good dip to bring somewhere, I'm actually thinking I have to bring um, a dish somewhere and I might just take that with some crackers and be done with it. Easy peasy. These were one of my splurges. It was one of those sample things. They were so good and I looked at the ingredients. They're not wonderful, but they're not terrible. And I thought this would be really good, especially for my husband to take to work with him. Um, kind of like instead of a granola bar. So we're kind of weeding out a lot of this wheat. And I thought these were good. They were a little pricey. For 24 bars, though, they were about $10. I thought that was a little on the pricey side. But if we eat them, and it kind of keeps us from going in and grabbing chips or granola bars or something like that, 
then it was all worth it. So on this side of the table, I've been dying to try avocado oil, and a lot of times my Costco doesn't have it. I don't know what the deal is with it, but um, I saw it and grabbed it. I was like, nope, we're getting it this time. And it is, I wanna say this was like almost $10, like $9.79. I went ahead and grabbed a big thing of lemons um, just for like seasoning chicken and things like that, and I can squeeze it into water in the morning and um, this whole big bag was, I think, about $7. Wasn't the best price, but I know these lemons are at least gonna be really good. I went ahead and grabbed some bananas. Didn't grab as many as I thought I probably should have, but um, they either go bad in my house really fast or we use them up like that. I went ahead and grabbed some strawberries. I really like the strawberries from Costco. I feel like even though this brand, they sell them at Walmart, they sell them other places, for some reason when I get them from Costco, I just like them so much better. Um, this whole, this two pound flat I think was like $3.99. So we'll use these probably as snacks. Um, and I'll probably cut them up. It's a really good like dessert, especially in the summertime. Do you guys remember? Oh my gosh, my mom used to cut these up and she always put sugar on them. I try not to put sugar on them, but oh, it's hard not to. Uh, these, I've never seen there before. It's two mini seedless watermelons for $5.99, I wanna say. I am not a huge fan of cutting watermelon in general, so I thought this would be wonderful. <laughs> and I do have to take um, like a side to a barbecue next week, and so I thought I could uh, melon ball these and just take a bowl of watermelon basically I thought that would be easy Costco is great when you have large families but my family is only a family of three so I thought we would probably go through and eat one of these watermelons in a week versus like the huge watermelon I would have for way too long and it would probably go bad so I'm hoping that this would kind of solve my dilemma so I'm not sure if I'll take these uh, to the barbecue or the cookout I'm going to or we'll just eat them not sure how they'll go down, but I thought either way, I'm getting them. Uh, went ahead and grabbed five dozen eggs. I wanted to hard boil some eggs at the beginning of each week, so to have some for breakfast. And um, this flat, I think was like $7.99 for five dozen. Um, they're the Kirkland cage-free ones. I did try the organic eggs there, and I usually like an organic versus the regular. Uh, on the other hand though, I felt like those eggs <laughs> were really hard to break. They just kind of crumbled apart. Their shells crumbled apart. So I don't know if it was just the batch of eggs I got. Um, but when I go with like just the Kirkland Cage Free brand, they seem easier to crack in general. And sometimes convenience wins. This is my vegetable side over here, right? So my vegetables, I got this big thing of asparagus. I can definitely get uh, probably a good four meals out of this, I'm thinking. Um, at least two meals is what I'm hoping for. It's not something my family likes, but it is something that I love. And sometimes you just need to get the things you like and keep going. Because just because they don't love it doesn't mean that I shouldn't eat it. This, I got the, I got this huge bag of green beans. I'm going to split this up for sure. But I thought this would be wonderful. It's a two pound bag. We can kind of like take a handful of time. And you can microwave these because um, it's a microwavable bag. I'm thinking I'm just going to cook them, maybe steam them up and be done with it so then I can use them in quantities. I saw a couple of really cool recipes that I really wanted to try with Brussels sprouts. And I do have a tried and true recipe. So if um, my other stuff doesn't work out, these will not go to waste. In the store, you should have heard my husband. He's like, no, don't get the Brussels sprouts. I told him, no, 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 we need vegetables. So I'm gonna try some other way of preparing them. So hopefully everybody in my house will like them. I love squash, guys. Look at all this squash, oh my gosh. I love the squash from Costco too. I feel like it's really fresh. It stays um, well, and I just feel like it cooks really good. This whole thing is like eight squash, I wanna say. It's like four zucchinis and four um, summer squash. And I want to say it's uh, like it's a pretty good price, like $5.99, $6.99. I figured that's really good, actually. These are a staple in my house. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Um, I will cook, put these out for right before dinner, and we'll do like half the bag one night, the other half the other night. 
keeps everyone eating salad and my guys like salad we're actually like a pretty good salad family so these are a little on the pricey side for a kit but they are a bigger kit this is like 14 ounces so almost a pound and um, it's $3.99 but it's probably one of the best salad kits I've tried grocery store salad kits this one is so good I have no idea why it's so much better but it is so if you're looking for a quick easy I got to take a salad to a function grab one of these done and done I did get a whole thing of romaine back there and um, this will be kind of like when these run out and I think that will be very good um, I can also use them for like uh, like lunches and make like little kind of like boats out of them but uh, I really wanted to try this I have never tried it but I am a fan of the Asian chopped salad and so I just thought you know what I'm gonna try this see how I like it and I wouldn't guessing that I can eat it for lunch for a couple of days and that would be wonderful these looked amazing I want to say there were $6.99 for all of these there's six of them two orange two yellow and two red peppers um, so these would be really good if you're making, you know, stuffed peppers one night because these are like huge, these peppers. I mean, they just, they're so big. And um, I thought too I could cut them up, maybe half of them I could cut up and just eat on them. And I thought that would be a really, really good solution um, to a snacking problem as well because I like these colors. I'm not a huge fan of the green ones, the bell peppers, but I do like the colored peppers. So... I'm guessing I'm going to probably try to make some stuffed shells one night with um, three of them and then cut up the rest. I grabbed mushrooms just because these looked really good in comparison to what I was looking at in the store the other day. And I mean, I usually cut these up really fine and put them in salads and nobody knows. Also, um, I have a meal that I usually make with mushrooms and tomatoes. So um, that I thought would be one of my splurge meal type of things and so and I wanted to try it with some gluten-free pasta or like low carb pasta so I just got enough that I could have salads and I could use some for that meal these looked amazing these tomatoes and I know there's a ton of them but guys this is like my go-to snack so I couldn't find my blackberries um, that I usually snack on but these will do. Oh my goodness, I love to snack on a cherry tomato. So good. Back here I got um, some frozen strawberries. These are for smoothies. And we usually do blueberries, strawberries. I usually put some kind of spinach in our smoothies. And I put um, a little bit of almond milk. So we have been buying our frozen stuff at Aldi, which was great. This was just a bigger quantity and I wanted to see if it was any better. So now we get down to the meat over here. Um, and this is something I haven't tried, but everybody talks about it. It looks like it'd be really good. Um, these were boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And it is a package of six. So three on this side, three on the other side. And then you can, it has where you can just cut them apart. And so I thought this would be really, really good for my family, um, considering I don't have um, a lot of people to feed, but I usually get at Walmart like a big family pack of chicken breasts that has four in it, and I end up using kind of uh, about two of those every two weeks. So I thought maybe this would be a better alternative, and it was about the same price, but I thought the packaging might be better for my family and it might cause me to not make so so much so we'll see kind of how this goes um, I did like the fact that it was probably a better product as well and I want to say this was around 20 something dollars it was 26 dollars for all of this but I think freshness wise and just um, when you're talking about the quality of chicken this is probably going to be a better quality this is something that I really like from them I all have for a long time now I've been buying the one pound ground beef like this that's organic in the regular grocery store um, this one is actually a little bit more it's one pound 
1.34 pounds so it's a little over a pound and you wouldn't think that would make a difference but y'all it is actually you notice that and I really appreciate that it makes it so my family and I can have like a leftover because we're a smaller family but I if you have kind of a average size family I could see why you would need a little bit more and so it's perfect um, three of these are $20 I think it's such a good thing and so I got six of them and that will definitely tied our my family over for at least a few weeks just these two meats alone if not longer than that this is one thing that i have not bought there this was 981 i my husband loves drumsticks and it's actually a really inexpensive meat you can buy because 981 for three packs of four and i thought that was wonderful um because it was packaged kind of like this so I like the packaging at Costco so I know I pay a little bit more for that and I thought this would be wonderful because it could be definitely three meals for us no big deal so um, I have I have some sheet pan dinners that I kind of wanted to try with some drumsticks so this will be great I'll let you guys know how it turns out and then we get over to the end of the table and I have three cucumbers Y'all, these seedless ones though, the English seedless cucumbers, everybody says they taste better, and oh my gosh, they do. And my son, <laughs> I can slice a whole one up and he'll eat it for lunch. I mean, my son and my husband just love cucumbers. So I go through them like crazy, so it is definitely a good investment. I wanna say these were like maybe $2.99, $1.99. This is my other big splurge. Uh, I have been looking for something for my room. Uh, and I decided on this velvet uh, quilt. And so it's a quilt with two shams. Right now in our room we have just a quilt that we've had for years. And I've been looking for a different comforter. I've been looking for something I want for a long, long time. And this feel, it just feels nice. And it will be good to go into winter with. I really like the idea of the quilt blanket. Just because you don't have this um, huge fluffy mess on you when it's so hot outside and you have to have the fan on and things like that when you live in the south and it's hot and it's hot at night regardless um and our bedroom is just hot in our house it's just that one room i know you all have that room in your house it's just hot and our bedroom just stays hot so this will be good i think for a while i can definitely see myself layering like kind of a nice uh fluffy down comforter on top of it or something like that to make it look more kind of like hotel luxury but I thought it was a really good compromise for now and I really love this color um, they had it in gray they had it in beige they had tons of colors and this color um, just kind of jumped out at me at first and I just liked it so much better and my husband really liked the gray and he's like no 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 if you like this color we should get it because he's just not picky at all and so it's kind of this bluish gray color and I just love it and my bedroom furniture is really dark wood like this I thought if I put a true gray on it that it would be just too dark so that is why I went with this color it was kind of a little bit of a splurge it was um, $25 that I just wasn't anticipating on spending but I have needed it for a oh, longer than I can tell y'all and I have just been really picky with what I wanted to put in there. Thank you guys so much for coming over and watching this Costco haul. I love Costco. I don't know what I was thinking for all these years without going. For some reason I thought my family was too small and that it wouldn't be a good investment, but you guys, I love the fruits and vegetables the most out of anything. They're just so fresh, so good and they really um, are worth the extra added expense and I do like that I get a bigger quantity of them. So that's just my humble opinion on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see y'all in the next brand new video. Bye for now.